Welcome back to Celeste, episode 3. We will continue warping through rainbow glitchy starfields and continue to explore this area here. And what is this up here? I think this is secret strawberries. Okay, so I don't remember if I said this before, but the way that these work is if you run into a wall while you're inside them, you're dead. So, like here, I need to do this kind of like zigzagging behavior to get around it. Oh. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you... me? I'm part of you. Why would part of me look so creepy? Hmm, seems I've offended her. This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean... <laughs> Forget about it. I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this? I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? Ooh! <laughs> I'm the pragmatic part. And I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home. Together. I don't know. Looks like the lazy part. Okay, so she's gonna try to kill me now. So, there are levels like this every once in a while. Where part of the uh, mechanic is all about avoiding uh, this evil, evil hoe. Just, she goes where you go, so you can kind of like lead her. I mean, she, it's basically like you're running away from like your clone in like a racing game. Okay, so I want her to like climb up there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what's that? Oh yeah, okay. That is a activatable block, like so, with a switch. A switch block. And I think, yeah, this one I have to hit all of the switches in order to get that one up there to move. Okay. Now what if I go through this? Aha, the spikes don't kill me if I go through like that. Interesting. Good to know. Oh, shit. I don't know why, I just kind of expected it to disappear instead of going up. Oh, shit, there's three of them now. Okay, alright. Alright, what's this? Can I... Can I go to the left there? No, I need to turn down the, the audio here, actually. Shit, I'm sorry about that. There's actually probably been, like, a real bad echo. I didn't even think about that when I started recording. My bad. I guess I can't go in that, okay. What a strange little, like, looking milk, then. Just not be anything. 
Oh shit, there's a strawberry under there. I want that. Anything over here? There's an awful lot of space over there. Okay, so I want the strawberry, but I also want to go up. I guess we'll do the strawberry first. And I'll try to come back and see if I can go up. I feel like I'm moving forward now. Oh, I can't go backwards? Oh, that's lame. Okay, well, whatever's up there, I guess we'll just have to go find it later. Do I need to get under that? How would I get under that? Better question. It doesn't look like it's possible from this side. You know, actually, this clone mechanic's kind of making me want to play uh, Tomorrow Galaxy again. There's a shortcut over there, that's interesting. Hell yeah! Gotta take it kind of slow so I can manage the clones. There we go. And this is where I was at before. Why? I mean, it's kind of like a cinematic point with the clone disappearing and all, so. I guess, but like. Why, why was this vantage point like that? I suppose, I mean, it's kind of nice to see it. Maybe just, maybe it really is just a vantage point. Kind of nice to, like, revisit it and see it again, you know what I mean? Like, but... <laughs> this is kind of weird. I guess they're just there for fun? Why are they there? Maybe I'm being overly quizzical, but... They seem completely unnecessary. And that always makes me suspicious that something is hiding. Okay, so... Come at it from the bottom, probably. If I just go straight up, is that... It's not death! Okay, alright, so I gotta go straight up, and then I gotta zigzag on the way down. Okay. Whoops! Anything top of the screen here? Nope. Can't go out the top of the screen. I guess maybe they're just here for lore reasons. Because there seems to be a lot of these that just aren't for anything here. What is this? Information booth? Hello? Madeline? Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. 
I'm being chased by someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I know I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh, it's alright. Calm down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I found this old mirror, and it shattered. But part of me escaped, and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Ugh, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that was considerably more horrific than everything else that's been in the game so far. Right! So when I woke up the first time and things looked weird and I was joking about having burned some psychedelic plant, it was telling me something. It was a dream sequence. Or something. I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. I've seen that sequence once before. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet that what's going on is dreaming. I think it's... I don't know. Something else. I'll say more as I come to it. Oh, hey, it's Theo again. Hey, Madeline, you made it. Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. So yeah, these are the 1800 ruins he was talking about. I took so many great picks. Wanna see? Oh, sure. Yeah, I actually do too. Is you actually gonna show? No, you're not actually gonna show. That's fine. That's fine. I, d I did want to see those though. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these. Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy. Like this. <laughs> Look how adorably uncomfortable she is. Can't blame her, he's very confident. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's alright, you can post it. I'm just not photogenic. Adeline, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. <laughs> it's, you know, it's kind of, I bet that filter is called strawberry. I'm just going to guess that. I feel like it's a pretty strawberry red. Casual yet refined. What made you want to try photography? My grandpa was really into it. Apparently he was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it, but it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals, I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, 
But I'm not ready to turn back just yet. Are you getting any data up here? I don't have a smartphone. Madeline, I don't even know how to respond to that. How am I gonna follow his insta pics? Not even gonna talk to me again, huh, now? Like, just... No, that makes sense, that's totally fair. Wouldn't talk to me either. Actually, I'm kidding, I wouldn't give a shit. I, uh, I took forever to get a smartphone myself. It was so long after everybody else had, and I've only ever had one. The one I have now is like, fucking six years old or something, but... Still good for me. I guess that's kind of weird, since I've always been into technology, but... I don't know. I've never really been that big into, like, the craze of getting the newest phone. The one I got when I got it was into the line then. It was the S4, Galaxy S4, and did everything I needed it to. Something gonna happen here again? Who are we calling? Oh. Mom? Hello. Yep. Hey, Mom. Madeline, what a nice surprise. How was your trip? It's okay. I'm just kind of... overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? So I think this seems like a pretty good place to stop. So we'll call it here, and next episode we will explore the Celestial Resort. Why is there a hotel up here? I guess it makes sense. If the corporation or whatever really built all of this, but who built those 1800 ruins? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the answers and more next time.